So I touched on this briefly already, uh, but let's dig a little bit more into string slicing. So I have this string. I am the lager. I have inside me Blood of Kings. I don't know, Rocky meets uh, Napoleon Dynamite meets Highlander. Um, that's how we roll. All right, so string. Uh, let's just do, let's just, for edification, realize that strings and lists are indexed in the same way. Of course, they're not the same thing. Uh, a string, we can think of it as a collection of characters, but really it's a scalar and uh, it's one entity, right? We don't want to fall into the pit trap of trying to assign something to this character, like uh, changing the capital I to an exclamation point. That's not going to work. We get the string object does not support item assignment. That's because it's immutable. We can't actually change the string. But we can access the character in that first position. And of course, that's an I. We can access the character in the final position, right? Which should be an S, and we see it. And let's uh, access the character five from the back. That's a K. You know, we can sort of justify that one, two, three, four, five. That's the K in Kings. So let's consider a slice. And uh, I'm going to call this slicey. We're going to get string. And we're going to, we're just going to get the whole thing. Okay. So remember that um, this, uh, this is the thing that we use to copy lists. But we're not, um, we're not really copying the string here. We're just slicing out the entire thing. Um, let's take a look at the type of string, or sorry, the ID of string. And let's look at the ID of slicey and see what that looks like. Notice those are the same ID. This is under the hood, this is some string optimization. You don't have to really worry about it, but realize that the same string in two different variables um, are actually the same string in memory. And that's some form of optimization under the hood. So with that in mind, uh, with this uh, syntax in mind, let's get the uh, third character through the 15th character. And let's take a look at what slicey is after we do that. Um, and notice this is uh, index 3 to index 14, right? That's uh, so it's really the fourth character um, at index 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. We would expect M, and then up until the 14th index, which I don't know what that is off time, uh, off, offhand. M, the Liger comma. Great. Um, I'm not sure if we're including that final space there, but uh, whatever. You know, maybe we are, maybe we're not. Um, okay, so... We can add, just like with a list, we can add another character, uh, another argument. It's not really an argument, but we can add another uh, thing in here, this two, and we're just going to get every other character when we do that. M, T, L, G, R. Makes sense. And I think there's an empty space after that as well. So we can do every third character. Again, we're going to see uh, M, H, L, E. So this, this just kind of makes sense, right? This is, um, there's no real mystery here. Uh, now, I'm going to show you an easy way to reverse a string. And this is the way, I'm just going to say this is the way you should reverse a string. You know, maybe somebody can argue with me about that. I, I, I don't know. Um, you can just put a negative one in this third character. So essentially, we're going from the uh, final index, which is implied here in this first, to the initial index, and I'll demonstrate that in a second, but this is kind of how you'll see it in most cases. This, this is just going to give us the reversed string, S, G, N, I, K, Fo, Dulb, M, etc. Now, if I want to say this explicitly, this is length of string to zero, and we should expect to see the same result, and we do. Now here's here's an interesting thing. 
what happens when I give this a negative 5 on the end? And it may be surprising, a little bit surprising what happens here. Let's just look. So S space 0, oh, sorry, O, E, I, E, I, G, H. What is happening there? Um, it doesn't really look like anything that uh, makes much sense. Um, so let's start from let's start from the back of the string. This negative is reversing, essentially reversing the string. That first s is this s on the end, and so that's uh, you know we we can back off. So one, two, three. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're getting this space, right? One, two, three, four, five. Then we're getting that O. One, two, three, four, five. We're getting that E, and so on, right? So this is maybe not a functionality that you're going to expect to use, um, you know, every fifth character from the back. But you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised uh, in you know your reading of code. Sometimes things can be a bit cryptic. You might need to interpret something like this at some point. Or it might come in handy, just like a quick little code snippet. Um, but really the takeaway here is you can slice a string, load that into a new variable to create a new string, like slicey here. Uh, you can reverse a string using this colon colon negative one syntax. And yeah, Python is awesome at strings.